What's going on, Extreme Gang? Well, we're in the, about two weeks of shelter in place down here, so I've been wanting to do this video for a while, and now I have time to get around to it. I get asked this all the time. PSA or BGS? Who should I use to grade my cards? Well, I'm going to be very firm on to this. I'm not going to solicit to one group or the other. Most of you already know what the cards look like when they're graded and, you know, um, pretty much I'm going to be hitting different areas that will help you get more value in your cards, if that makes any sense. I'm a person that likes to get bang for my buck, but I like spending a lot of bucks. So, I guess it kind of makes me sound cheap, huh? All right, you can go to either one of these websites, either on PSA or BGS, to find out their pricing and everything. Yes, no gloves, by the way. Um, what I am going to say is there's a difference. BGS, you're paying for the time it takes them to grade it, versus PSA, you're paying them for the value of the card after it's graded. So, we're going to use the Royce Lewis Gold up here. Probably sells, I don't know, raw... 1200 ish maybe i'm just throwing it out a number out there i could be wrong graded a psa 10 it jumps up to 2800 so if you look at psa's guidelines you know anything under 999 and under 1999 cost this much or under 24.99 and you start going up in value so if i were to mail that royce lewis we know it's a 10 and i'll show you guys real quick and there's a little bit of a glare bam 10 so if I were to mail that to BGS, hoping for a BGS 10, which I don't think it would get, probably come back a 9.5, I would probably be looking at spending, you know, 75 bucks to get that card graded. Granted, that 10 is worth a lot more than that BGS 9.5 slash 10. But it's one of those things you have to do early. Soon as you open that product up, you can't say, oh, I like this card and wait months. Send it right then and there. It's going to be the lowest amount of money you're going to spend to get a grade. Just hope the guy becomes a stud later on down the road. Versus BGS, if I had 9, 5, 10 of that card, I'm probably going to guess it's going to be two grand. I'm just throwing numbers out there. A $1,200 card turns into two grand with a 9, 5, 10. But you're going to get more than a PSA 10, just the way things go. You know, when you look at it, it's pretty much like BGS 9, PSA 9. BGS 9.5, um, PSA 10, and then BGS 10, and BGS 10 Black Label. So that's the way you look at stuff like that. Now, when you look at it, you got BGS comes in a nice, big, thick case. PSA is a nice, small case. You can always find these sleeves for um, BGS. PSA sleeves, hard to come by. I'm trying to look at these back here. Boom. That's what you need right there. They sell these on Amazon. And you can't find them anywhere else. Amazon. They are tight fit sleeves made for PSA. You guys can thank me in the comments. No, I'm just kidding. I think I put it out a couple of times. But I, I looked for years. I didn't know why people were getting them out. And all of a sudden I found after like months of Googling. All right. So it's going to depend on the appearance of the card as well too. A lot of people are pro to PSA more than they are BGS. But BGS offers the subgrades to it. Now, you can get them with or without subgrades. Boom. So you know where your area is bad at. Mine's corners. Of course, it's a black uh, refractor. It's going to have some white on too, especially around corners. Surprise, the edge has got a 9.5. Surface, I got a 10. So it's going to depend on the overall appearance. This is going to be considered a min gem. So when you talk BGS... You're going to hear terminology, Min Gem, True Gem, Gem Plus. Min Gem means I got an overall rating of a 9.5, but somewhere in those four subcategories I got a 9. So this is considered a Min Gem. Even though I have a surface of a 10, there's still a 9 on there. It's a Min Gem. If you get all four 9.5s, it's a True Gem. If you have three 9.5s with a 10 or two 10s, it's called a True Gem Plus. 
people pay more because of the subgrades onto it. So just something that, you know, you hear it thrown around. Some people don't know what it means. I just figured I'd throw it out there. So when you look at this, you got to figure you're paying for the time amount to get to do the card versus the value of the card once it's graded. So there's a big difference on to it. I use both services, and I'm going to tell you why I use both. It's not because I got a buddy that lives right next to BGS that can hand walk them in, and it takes about a week off of, you know, ship times and everything else. I do it because I look at the card. Example, if the auto is not going to get a 10 because he ran off the sticker, these are not stickered. But, or there's like a smear on it, or he skips something, you know, something wrong with the auto. I'm going to go BGS or PSA because they're not grading my auto. Now, there's nothing wrong with that Royce Lewis auto. It was just that I got it and uh, from somebody that was already graded a 10. I, I think it's a phenomenal card. But you got to look at things like that with the auto. Is it the auto going to get a 10? That's a big difference maker with BGS versus PSA, you're not grading the auto, they're grading the card. Now, as we go back into it, BGS has their four categories. PSA has, uh, I guess, the ideology of the overall look of the card. So you can get a little bit off with the centering on the back of the card and still get a PSA 10 versus BGS. So you got to know your grading companies very, very well on what they look at, what they're in particular going to judge the card at, to see how are you going to get that better grade. Because that overall better grade is what's going to make you money. You go out and spend, uh, I don't know, Bowman Draft, probably what, about three fifty dollars a box? You know, I pull this Abrams out, I want to get the most value out of it, probably because my other three boxes were just skunk. I need to make my money back. So I'm going to look at it, and you could get these little uh, louver tools, and I'll show you what they are. They're, they're jeweler tools. This is what I use. You can get these on Amazon, too. I'm not going to link it because I'm not one of them people. But all you do, it has a little light on to it and stuff, and you can just look right over top and just judge for yourself. How much white do you see? Is this going to be a good card to submit or not? And you'll get a feel for it after a while with it. I'm going to tell you now, People with BGS, they, they'll clean the card. You see, I'm doing quotation marks, but you can't see it, air quotation marks. But, you know, they put a little wax on to get some of the scuffs out. You mail that same card to PSA, they're going to call it altered. And they're not going to even touch that card. Now, you can wipe them off. Take off the fingerprints, you know, a little bit of hot air, ha ha. Breathe on it with a microfiber, like a lens cloth for your glasses or sunglasses. Real nice to know. We'll just take out that stuff. I don't know. I'm just a big person on fingerprints. That's why I wear gloves. Yeah, it might be cool. You have Royce Lewis's thumbprint on there, but does it really have the overall good appearance whenever that card's for show? Not really, you know? My opinions, again, this is strictly on my opinions on how I've done things. Now, I will go use PSA for bulk submission. You need to do this soon as you get your product. Don't wait around because months down the road, the guy all of a sudden comes out of in you know after uh, the All Star game and becomes a stud. Well, you could have had those cards back, and now you ain't gonna get them for ten, eleven dollars a card. <laughs> now you're up to eleven. You're paying twenty, thirty dollars a card. Send them in early, guys. And I'll give you an example. So I have two Acunas here. That's on the case. Or not the case, but the sleeve. I nicked it pulling it out. You guys see a little scuff there. And Oh, no, there it is. It's a little piece of plastic. So, two Akunas. First Akuna, as you can see. Well, I lied. No, you can't see. Come on. Read the Akunas. So, this is a True Gem Plus. Three nine fives and a 10. Here's the PSA version of a 10. Bam. You know... It just depends on the person. If I was wanting to keep but keep a card, I'd keep this. One is a 10 versus a 9.5. I probably could cross this over to be a 10. I just happen to get them both like this. So look at the cards. I mean, you'll be able to sit there and judge and be like, wow, there's a big difference. But this is the overall look. Two same exact cards, two different cases. Which one do you like better? I mean, honestly, I think without the auto, 
I like PSA because it's a base card. It's 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 not any kind of refractor or doesn't have an autograph onto it. It's just your regular rookie card. I prefer PSA. Some people might say, no, BGS all the way, just quicker to get them back. True. Difference in value. This is 150. It's like a buck twenty, thirty bucks, maybe. Maybe even a hundred on this one. I'm not too sure now to BGS. I know these are like realistically 150 all day, the PSA tens now. You know, it's all about the appearance of the card. I'd rather have this laid out in my case next to Abrams, just because it looks better to me. So if you're gonna and how I have my stuff set up is different. So in no way am I gonna, like I said, sell either PSA or BGS, which way to go. I use the common sense of dollar signs, which is gonna get me better. Yes, I know if I use bulk submission of PSA, it'll take forever. But you know what? When these came out, people bulk submitted them by dozens. $10 a card. And then I think whenever they were coming back, people had them at like 70 bucks a card and they were lying them. Now look at the price difference. You know, supply and demand. So always think about that. You know, it's not always going to be about, oh, I like BGS better than PSA. It's about who is going to give you more value on that card. Because in the long run, you know you're going to get skunked on boxes and you've got to make your money back. That's why a lot of times you'll see me pulling when I'm doing my breaks, all those rookie cards come out. Why? Because they're, I could have them go in bulk submission if PSA was still open. And I can make my money back on that box. It's a long process. I mean, you're talking about a six-month process, and once you get in that habit in that window, then you start seeing the return. You're like, oh, yes, I got a PSA order coming in. Thank goodness. And you're getting that money back plus some normally. So think about Now, I'm not even going to touch SGC. If you guys don't know what SGC is, just forget you even heard it. In my honest opinion, those cases look like garbage. Yes, I got it. They get them back quicker and all this other stuff. I don't like their labeling. The originally, their labeling were pretty good. You know, I, I liked it. Now, I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of thing they used off of Microsoft Word. It, it, to me, it just not does not look professional. So, we wanted to touch SGC. If you like them, I'm sorry. I just am not a fan of the way, over the way they look. Um... Yes, I know PSA and BGS have scams and everything like that going on. SGC is just not that popular to get to, to have anybody scam them. Then you got other grading companies out there, GMA, BBB, and whatever else is out there. I don't use them. These are your top two that are in front of you, BGS and PSA. I'm going to try to make sure I can get these over back to where they were for you guys. I got a cockeye loose a little bit. Just because the light comes over on the right hand side, so like I said, I'm make sure I'll use common sense when you guys grade, okay? And I don't mean it to be like any way coming off wrong, but when I say common sense, use it by the dollar sign. How quick do you need this back? Are you trying to flip it right now, or can you hold off? These are rookies. I mean, I can understand you know you get like the Zions, you want them back quick because you want to hurry and get your money. Zion's still going to probably be there next year. You know, 99% chance he's still going to play next year. Don't worry about it. You know, so just start looking at your grading companies. Look at the price difference in grading. You know, if you pull that huge red refractor out of Bowman, you know, do you want to go spend $500 to have it graded? Or would you rather spend 100 and do a one-day service with Beckett? I would use the one day versus having to do PSA. PSA, I like using my vintage only. Vintage only. Well, I, my vintage will only go to PSA. Let me rephrase that. My vintage will only go to PSA. Now, when you start talking newer stuff, I start looking at autos. Then I start looking at base rookies. Base rookies, silver prisms, they all need to go PSA. Unless I don't think it's going to attend. Let's send it off to Beckett because you know what? I can get a 30-day back way quicker as a BGS-9 trying to hope for a 9.5 and anything. So I, I was just trying to help everybody out here um, with my thoughts onto PSA or BGS. 
Use them both. One is not greater than the other in anybody's eyes. It's who the collector or the buyer is that wants it. They might not want BGS, but you know what? Five people later, he might want BGS. It's a sold item. Maybe he's going to take that BGS 9.5 I have there and spend the money and cross it over and go for a 10. I don't know. I'm not one of the people that will sit there and really say, oh, man, it's PSA. I don't want a PSA 10. Crazy. I want a PSA 10. I want BGS 9.5 10s. You know, but getting the card encapsulated, having it professionally graded, takes all doubts away from when you want to get rid of that card. Especially if you're doing it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, I think is one people are now selling cards on. Even eBay. Because unless they damage the case along the way, you can't argue the grade. It's been already established. And I do know that he, I could take that Amos Prime Melody again five times and I'll never see the same grades. I got different people look at each time. It's very subjective. So is PSA. But PSA, again, remember, is the overall appearance of the car is pretty much what they're looking at. They're not too big on the back. You can get away a little more of your left, right, top, bottom centering on the back if the front's good. Versus Beckett, BGS, they'll, they'll get you on the front and back. Well, I don't want to keep going here. I, I hit my 15-minute mark, and I, I know I was rambling on there for a little bit, everybody. But if you guys have questions on what I think, you could – remember, I'm just what I view it as. I've been doing cards now since 1984. Four. Yep, Don Mattingly, rookie. Had to think back in time. So cards have evolved. PSA started it all with grading, and then everybody else started coming into it. You know, PSA has registries for those guys who want to build sets, PSA 10 sets. So each one has its own thing. Use it the way you want to do it. I have no problem displaying my stuff, both BGS and PSA. I think it looks great that way because people get to see a difference, just like I showed you guys with the Akunas. There's a difference between the two because of the way the case is. Same card, just different cases and different value. Other than that, everybody, I hope you have a good week. I know it's Tuesday. Um, I have a couple other videos this week that I'm going to come out with as well. Make sure you guys watch all videos. You never know when I might just stop in the middle of it and say do a giveaway in the video. I'm going to start doing crazy stuff like that now. So make sure you guys watch the videos. I'll try to keep them to uh, under 20 minutes if I'm doing something like this as a talk through. It's a pretty big thing because... It's your hard-earned money It has to go out there and pay for this stuff to hope that you get a good grade back. I've given you guys some tools um, to use, especially that jeweler tool. It's a jeweler, um, what do they call it, a jewel loof, loofer or something like that? Looper? Loop. Jewel loop. Jeweler loop. There we go. I had to think about it. Jeweler loop. Yeah, I mean, you get them for like 15 20 bucks, but you'll start seeing those flaws on the corners and edges be like, ooh, you know, I might not want to send this. I'm, I'm hurting one of my four categories. It's going back a nine, you know. You might see something you never saw before onto it. And it'll really open your eyes up on the imperfections on cards and what goes through and what does not go through. All right. Thank you all for watching the video. I will see you guys later this week. Again, if you guys have questions or comments, let me put it down there. If you guys think that, you know, BGS is better than PSA, put it down in the comments or PSA is better. I think they both have advantages and disadvantages, but it's how you overall are going to spend your money to get the most bang for your buck back. Other than that, take care. Have a good day. Stay safe and healthy out there, buddy.